by inspection t is equal to two right yes using the um exponential law which says that a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n if a to the power, power of m equals a to the power of n then definitely your m is equal to n okay so from here we can say that t is equal to 2 but there are two values of t because t is raised to the power of 2 so there are two values of t so how do we get the next one without without guessing let's show that by working okay now the first thing we need to do is we introduce natural log to both sides of this equation so if we introduce natural log so that is ln t to the power of t is equal to ln t squared. Oh, but before that, to save ourselves some time, to save ourselves some time, let's first of all divide both sides of this equation by t to the power of 2. We are going to see why. So we have t to the power of t divided by t to the power of 2 is equal to t to the power of 2 divided by t to the power of 2. So we have t to the power of t divided by t to the power of 2 is equal to 1 because this will divide itself to give us 1. All right. Now remember that a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So that means that we can write this as t to the power of t minus 2, right, is equal to 1. Now, this is the proper time to introduce a uh, natural log to both sides. All right, so let's introduce natural log. ln t to the power of t minus 2 is equal to ln 1. Now, when you have ln a to the power of b is equal to b multiplied by ln a. So that means that we can solve this as t minus 2 multiplied by ln t is equal to ln 1. So we have t minus t minus 2 multiplied by ln t is equal to 0. Remember that ln 1 is equal to 0, right? The yeah, natural log of 1 is equal to 0. All right. So from here, we can say that t minus 2 is equal to 0 or ln t is equal to 0. So from here, we have t is equal to 2. We have actually gotten the first number, that the first solution that we got from inspection. Okay, if this is the first time you have seen us, click on the subscription button, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos. I would like to miss you in my next video. So please do that, all right? And give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. We upload our videos two to three times daily. So at your leisure time, tune in and watch new uploads. All right. So here we have ln t is equal to zero. Let us work on that. Now, remember that if you say e to the power of ln a, this is equal to a. Yes. e to the power of natural log of any number is equal to that number. So that means that we remember that we are looking for t. So if we introduce base e here, we are going to get our t. So that means we need to introduce base e here and also introduce base e here. So we introduce base e to both sides of this equation. So we have e to the power of ln t is equal to e to the power of zero. So from here, we have that t is equal to now e to the power of zero is one. So this has given us the second value of t. Now let's check. Let's check. Let's make sure the answers we got are correct. So we got our answer to be two and one, right? So t is equal to what? One and two. Now, when t is equal to one, let's check. It should be one to the power of one is equal to one to the power of two. And one to the power of one is one. And one to the power of two is also one. Now, when t is equal to two, we have two to the power of two is equal to two which is our t to the power of 2. So this is very easy to even see that both sides of the equation are correct. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.